Hey guys, welcome to Our Delicious and I am Aditi with Halloween just a couple of days away. I bring to you not one, not two, but three easy no-bake treats which you can whip up in no time. All these require four or less ingredients, list of which will be in the description box below. So let's get started with our treat number one, the chocolate bats. For this, you will need some round chocolate, Oreo and melted white and black chocolate. So I'm using these man-sized buttons. These are big round chocolates, but you can use a, a, something like Reese or any round chocolate. Take the Oreo, open it and remove the cream filling and then using a knife, divide the Oreo into two, making the wings of the bat. I have transferred the melted black and white candy melts in a parchment paper cone. Using the black chocolate, pipe some at one corner of the Oreo and stick it at an angle to the chocolate button and repeat the step for the other Oreo wing. Using the white chocolate, pipe two circles for the eyes and then add black center on both the eyes. And your easy peasy chocolate bats are ready. Moving on to making the spider web chocolate bars. You'll need some dark chocolate, some mini marshmallows, milk chocolate and a round candy like Malteser. So take the dark chocolate. I'm using compound chocolate but you can use coverture and I'll, I'm using a silicone bar mold. So melt this in the microwave at 30 second intervals until it is nicely melted. If it's a coverture chocolate, you'll need to temper. Fill the mold with the, with the chocolate. Using the spatula, spread it around and then tap it out to remove any air bubbles. Put it in the fridge to chill completely until it's completely set. It will take about 30 minutes. While the chocolate is setting in the fridge, I'll use the Malteser to make the spider. So cut the base of the Malteser so that it can stand. Repeat the same for some more of them. Take the marshmallows and microwave them at 15 second intervals until they are melted and let the mixture cool down to touch. Once the chocolate is set, peel off the silicone mold to demold the chocolate bar. Take the marshmallow mixture between your fingers and spread your fingers apart to make the strings. Lay the marshmallow strings on the chocolate bar. Coat the chocolate with the strings until you are happy with the web. This marshmallow web looks really cool when you break the chocolate it stretches. Melt the milk chocolate in the microwave and then transfer it into a parchment paper cone. Let's get on with adding some spiders to the web. Add a small dot of chocolate where you want your spider. Place the Malteser and then add some spider legs to the Malteser. Add a head by piping a round of the chocolate and add two stripes down the center to add some detail to the spider. Repeat the same for adding some more spiders. And this really cool spiderweb chocolate bar is ready. Let's move on to making our last treat, the jack-o'-lantern Oreos. For this you'll need some Oreos, some orange candy melt and some black and green candy melts. I'm using these silicone cupcake holders to make these. I think the ridges on the side would be perfect for the jack-o'-lantern. You can use a cupcake case as well. Add some melted orange candy melt to the base of the mold and tap it to smooth it out. Add the Oreo in the center and then cover it with some more orange candy melt. Tap it to smooth it out and remove any air bubbles. Repeat this for the other Oreos and then let it set in the refrigerator until they are completely set. Here I have some green candy melt in a parchment paper cone and a piece of parchment paper which I'll use to make the pumpkin stem. Pipe out thick lines of green chocolate about 1 cm long and then place it in the fridge to set. Once the chocolate dipped Oreos are set, demold them and using some black candy melts in a parchment paper cone, pipe out some eyes, mouth and nose of the jack-o'-lantern. You can be creative here, you can draw any expression you want. Now it's time to add the stem. Pipe a small dot of green chocolate at the top of the jack-o'-lantern and stick the stem. And using some green chocolate, pipe on some pumpkin wines. And these super adorable jack-o'-lantern Oreos are ready. These three easy no-bake treats would be perfect for your Halloween party or for trick-or-treating. I hope you enjoyed these and if you try it out, don't forget to share a picture with me on my Instagram or Facebook, links to which are in the description box below. Check out my other Halloween treats by clicking the I at the right-hand corner and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos every week. Until next time, bye-bye.